This is Behind the Scenes. I'm Scott Sexsmith. A Barry woman has discovered she has family that she never knew she had thanks to DNA testing. Nikki Cole returns to Behind the Scenes to share this wonderful, heartwarming story. Nikki, I can't imagine the feelings of emotion that Tanya Verkirk had when it was discovered there was a paternal match through DNA testing. Can you describe what her reaction was? Yeah, so she wasn't expecting a lot um and she basically said that she just um she cried and she was pretty shaky and she was just absolutely overjoyed with the fact that you know she had found this family she never knew she had um and you know that they really 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 wanted a relationship with her so um yeah she's just she's still a little bit shell-shocked i think yeah i bet uh, Nikki, how does the uh, the process work when reaching out and how did she eventually uh, connect with bill caravan her father so from what I understand, um, so she had used Ancestry.com uh, or .ca, and they have something I think called Search Angels. Uh, so she was connected with um, a first cousin once removed, uh, and then through that found it was kind of narrowed down to, uh, I think it was four or five brothers. So she she found one of them. She reached out and was initially, I think the, the one brother was a little bit standoffish. Um, you know, and rightfully so, but eventually he sent her a text message or an email and said that his brother wanted her to to call him. So she did on Father's Day of this year. What a Father's Day uh, to remember. How did that uh, conversation go? Do you know? She said it went really, really well. She said he was excited to find out that he had a daughter. Um, she He's been married for almost, I think she said 40 years. The wife was excited. She has a brother. She's got a nephew. She has all this extended family. So she said it's definitely, um, you know, a Father's Day uh, that she'll never forget and that he'll never forget. And apparently the whole community in Newfoundland, I think she said Cornerbrook, they're already planning a big potluck to to welcome her and her sons hopefully this summer uh, and celebrate. Yeah, so I was going to ask, what are the uh, the plans for Tanya to meet uh, the new family? So Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, not a, ba- a bad spot at all. Uh, mm. Is there a timeline uh, to that uh, reunion? She said right now she's not in the best financial position. So she's done, she had done um, a, bit of some, a couple of raffles uh, over Canada to try to, to raise some money uh, to get her and her sons out there. But I think she, her, her hope is to get out there this summer and, uh, and, and get to know them. And they've already offered her to stay at their home. Um, she's had, you know, aunt, she had found out she had an aunt in Barrie. So she's already connected with her. But yeah, the whole community is rallying around her and her boys and her new extended family. So she's excited that uh, to find out that she says she's a newfie now. <laughs> she's an honorary newfie. Very cool. Only seems fitting that the reunion will happen in Newfoundland as she meets her newfound family for the first time. Heartwarming story here, uh, Nikki. Thanks for this. And thanks for taking us behind the scenes.